When we employ uh, staff at the school, we are very conscious of what we are bringing them in to do. And we're a boarding school, so there's normally a requirement to board. There is uh, a requirement to get heavily involved in extracurricular activities. All that on top of delivering the subject in the best way possible. So we're looking for the full package and we're therefore looking for somebody who doesn't really see the job as something they clock into at nine o'clock and clock off uh, with at 3.15. Uh, Chris uh, fit the bill in many ways and you know, he has a first class honours degree uh, to begin with so he has an excellent knowledge of his own subject. He'd done well on his PGCE uh, we'd seen him uh, teach. We're looking for somebody also who is a role model with the children and by the, the sort of quality of his demeanour he had that as well. Uh, he's the sort of person uh, you can gather very quickly uh, young people would warm to. So we, we, we saw that uh, and at interview he did very well on the technical questions uh, we asked. Uh, because we educate the whole person, Chris is involved in boarding, uh, he's heavily involved on the sports side of things, he's a, a rugby coach, but above all he's very flexible and I think employers look for flexibility. If you ask Chris to help with anything, uh, if it was within his capacity to do so, uh, he would. He's a very amenable uh, member of staff. Um, he is a first class geography teacher first and foremost but he has all these other attributes that he can bring to the party here and support the outworking of the school's mission. We, the school has always had as its strapline uh, for the increase of education and good manners. So it, it's, the school has never just seen formal academic qualifications as the be all and end all. It's looked at the education uh, of the whole person and turning out uh, really rounded individuals. Uh, so we are looking to put in activities that support the outworking of that aim. Uh, at the school we have, we realise that a child has to source their self-esteem from somewhere. Not everybody can do it in the classroom. So we put in as many extracurricular activities as possible to give them this sort of opportunity, this coat hanger on which they can hang their self-esteem. So if they're not good in the classroom uh, or they're, they're performing uh, less wholesomely than one would desire in the classroom, they can, they, they can pin their, find their place in inverted commas uh, elsewhere and from that flourish and thrive at school. So everything that we do is geared towards that.